Okay, so I am going to do a quick vlog, just kind of overviewing the past week, um, which is the last week before I start going full-time, uh, starting tomorrow. So uh, this past week in my class, we um, the kids uh, took a test um, on the unit that they've been doing pretty much the whole time since I've been at the schools. Um, it was on the past two, like, mini sub-lessons uh, or sub-units. And they had this 20-question uh, test um, that was on that material. And so it was actually, um, it was a hard test in that it used a lot of, like, application questions rather than just simply knowledge, which is something that my teacher wants to build them up to. Um, but it wasn't writing or anything. It was really just multiple choice. Um, so, so it still kind of keeps with the SOL uh, format. And um, so the kids took a test one of the days that I was there, and then after they took the test on um, the following day, I ended up uh, grading all of their tests, um, all 90 of them. And once I was done, I kind of debriefed with my teacher, just kind of seeing where they were. And we saw that a lot of the scores were a lot lower than expected. Um, I, my CT in particular was really surprised because the test um, was a lot shorter than most of her other tests. Usually they're about... 30 to 40 questions, and this one was only 20. Um, and so she thought that it was pretty straightforward. But a lot of the scores were low, both for um, the typically struggling students, and then also some of the proficient students didn't do so well. Um, and particularly uh, our last class of the day, seventh period, which is her class with a lot of um, special education students that has a special education uh, aid in there. Uh, that's the class that did pretty poorly, so I actually ended up finishing those uh, tests before seventh period, so we were able to debrief um, me, my CT, and the aide, and kind of decide what we wanted to do, especially about seventh period. So we ended up having a talk with them, uh, actually, about their test scores and kind of asked them uh, what went wrong, if they felt it was something that we didn't do to help them. Um, or if they felt that it was kind of their fault because they didn't study. So we had like a very adult conversation with um, the seventh period class. Um, and most of the kids overwhelmingly said that they felt very supported by us and that they felt like a lot of them in class were not paying attention or didn't study or they um, weren't doing their part. And so I thought that was a really good conversation because it kind of, broke from the other classes of the day um, where we just really sat down and kind of talked and said, what can we do to make this better for you? Because we felt like we did a lot. And you guys, you know, there were multiple, multiple Fs, like probably half of the class, uh, half of seventh period failed that test. So we talked to them and a lot of them took ownership. A lot of them admitted to not studying and a lot of them admitted to fooling around. So uh, we kind of made like a class plan in a sense to talk about um, like what we wanted to do in the future, what we expected of them and what they expected of us. Um, and so uh, when I go to school tomorrow, I know that I want to debrief again with my CT and just kind of talk about, see if uh, seventh period has made any headway um, and what we want to do and if they said anything more since last time we talked. So I thought that was really interesting that um, just what you do when you have a test where students don't do as well. Um, and also, like, I know that a lot of the other classes didn't do as well, but since seventh period had a lot of, like, oh, just a lot of uh, scores that were almost, like, below 50s, below 40s. So we really wanted to talk with them, have an adult conversation. And it was really nice because um, both, or actually all three of us, um, the aide, my CT, and me, we all got to kind of say our own spiel and kind of, just say what we wanted to say to them and have a real conversation. So I thought that was really interesting um, to kind of see what you should do or what you can do when you have this test that you've been teaching or this material that you've been teaching for so long and then you have this test and you think they're going to do great because you've been hammering it into them um, and then they don't do so well and you're just like, well, what do I do because I have to move on? So we kind of had an adult conversation um, and I'm hoping that for the next test um, and, and also just the next classes in general. We'll see some changes and then I know that we really do plan on kind of having a more open dialogue and kind of pinpointing when they're not being on task or not doing what they're supposed to do and kind of being like, this is what we're talking about, this is what we mean, 
when we see you not paying attention. So that was the overwhelming um, event that kind of happened was just the seeing these test scores and kind of thinking to ourselves, what are we going to do and how are we going to tell them that we felt like they should have done better because of the amount of work that we put into uh, teaching and also just a lot of the uh, test questions were um, directly from these worksheets that we did over the past two, three weeks. Um, so we just kind of, we want to see um, if there was anything that we could have done. So in the coming days, I know that we're going to uh, go over the test and just kind of think about ways that we can make it better and um, just kind of keep that open dialogue going, not just with seventh period, but with all the classes. Um, and so that was pretty much what I did last week, uh, just involved that test. And now I know that we're going to be starting World War I uh, tomorrow. So that's going to be a big unit. I know that we're going to try to have a project or two, and so that'll be fun. I think that'll be a good way to kind of break the, um, the notes and the worksheets that we've been doing with the past unit because it hasn't been a big enough unit to have a really nice big project. So I know that we're going to do that, and I'm really excited for that. Um, so yeah, that is what I was up to last week, and um, this week I'm looking forward to starting World War One. All right.